So the first thing I want to cover with this series is the amount of free software that comes with this printer that allows you to have the ability to drag and drop images or bring in a PDF, the multi-pages, and be able to print it. So we're going to go over to the computer and take a look at the Epson uh, software. There's two components, the print layout software and the print automate software. So we're going to show you both of those now. I'm going to take you through some of the features of Epson print layout. And this is actually a really nice program that's free from Epson. So if you look here, you can see your, your image in the layout just as if it were on a sheet of paper. And then you also have the ability to print to any Epson SureColor series printers that are compatible with the software. You also have a full list of media from Epson to choose from. You can also uh, make your own layout sizes. So this is adding in a custom layout that I'm showing you right now. Very simple process, choosing your width and height and naming it. And you also have the ability to scale easily just by hitting the button to fill the media size. So if you're looking at the ability that this software gives you, if you're doing canvas at all, this is a really nice feature. You can program in your canvas dimensions on your bar sizes to do gallery wraps automatically. So it will do you know, mirroring of the edges. You can also use borderless features. You can switch between roll paper and sheet. You can do roll paper borderless, which automatically expand the image over the all four sides so that you don't have to do any trimming post process. Um, so the features are pretty rich in this software and it also allows you to select custom ICC profiles, which um, Automate will not do. So the, the one catch about this program is that it does not run PDFs. This is a drag and drop compliant software. So you can drag your image into the tray and it'll populate here. Now I'm going to show you how to resize. So I'm going to take roll paper borderless off, put regular roll paper on, and then scale to fit. I'm just going to uncheck that. And I'm going to take the bottom right hand corner of my image and just drag in and out. That will resize. That's the first method. Or you can take the width over here on the right and just plug in your number. Same with the height to make your perfect image size. There's also a cropping feature, which is really nice. If you double click on your image, you can actually zoom in or out of the image to print a certain part of the image. But I'm going to go ahead and hit OK because I like that crop, and now I'm ready to print. Epson Print Automate is the second software I'm going to show you that is PDF compliant. So that's the big deal about this one. It will take TIFFs and regular PNGs and image files, but it'll also take PDF. So you can drag your PDF in here and it will populate all the pages if there's multiple pages. You can actually choose which ones you want to print. So I'm just going to pick one out of this bunch here. I'm just going to uncheck all the ones I don't want to print. And there we go. Okay, so now I can choose which T-series printer. It does work with all the T-series printers. And also if I want roll paper sheet, how many copies I want, how I want to resize this. So these are the sizing methods that they give you. I'm just going to go ahead and fit it to the page. Uh, they also have the borderless feature, so if you click that, it's going to oversize it. You can choose really quickly whether or not to print in color or black and white. You can choose what type of image it is, and this will give you the quality output. You can also choose from a list of Epson's media types or your paper type. You can choose your cut method to be single cut, double cut, or off, and you're ready to print. The Epson print layout software and the Epson automate program are very easy, simplistic programs to learn from. So I think that's the resonating factor with this printer in general is that the Epson T5470M might be the perfect solution for a shop that's maybe got a lot of turnover with their employees or they're looking to hire people that have maybe never touched a wide format printer and they want something that's full circle easy to learn on from the software to the loading the scanner module to loading the media and also navigating the onboard menus of the printer. It's a very simplistic unit and Epson's done a fantastic job with that. So the next videos I'm gonna go through are the accounting tool. I'm gonna to show you how to get exact cost per print figures from this machine and also the versatility of this machine. So what projects you may be able to produce using different materials loaded into this machine and what you'd be able to sell to your customers.